guys welcome to the new video now in this video we're going to solve a geometry problem which is very interesting and we will solve it by using various obvious theorems which we have learned in our in our basic geometry classes so let's dive into problem we have a triangle abc inside that triangle we have another triangle abd and we have angle ADB as 45 and angle DAC as 15. We have to find out angle BAD. Let's denote that angle by X. We have to find out this angle BAD. Now try the solution for one minute. If you are able to solve it, it's fine. Pause the video for one minute. Let's dive into solution. So, as you all know, we have uh, this angle as 15, right? Now, by straight angle, by we are solving the problem by straight angle theorem, sum of angles that are there in a straight line x y x plus y should be 180 by straight angle theorem so with that theorem because of that theorem angle adc will be angle adc means this angle right adc will be 180 minus minus uh, 45 degrees right 45 degrees which gives you 135 right so this angle is 135 by straight angle property right now uh, by exterior angle property by exterior angle property so if there is any triangle like this if this is x this is y then this angle this exterior angle will be x plus y right can you see in this diagram anywhere where you, you we can use this exterior angle theorem If you carefully look, you can use that theorem for this 45 is exterior angle to angle DAC and angle ACD. So, sum of this angle and this angle should be equals to 45 because 45 is exterior angle. So, by exterior angle property, angle angle AC will be angle a d b minus angle angle a d b minus angle d a c which gives us angle a d b is 45 minus angle d a c is 15 which is equals to 30 so this angle is 30 now let's draw a perpendicular from d to uh, d to <coughs> not sorry not perpendicular but a line segment right we are drawing a line segment from d to ac D to AC and let's say this is E let's denote it by capital letters let's say it is E and DE DE is equals to DC let's denote it like that we are drawing DE onto AC whose length is equals to DC now by isosceles angle 
by isosceles triangle theorem like dc and de are equal so angle dec and angle ecd should be equal this is 30 degrees so this is also 30 degrees this is 30 degrees so angle d e c should be equals to angle d c e because of uh, isosceles triangle d e and d c are equal so angle d c e is 30 degrees so angle d e c is 30 degrees right now now if you carefully look at this triangle this this is 30 degrees right now this 30 is exterior angle to angle so if you carefully look at angle ade and angle dae if you add those two things it should be equal to 30 so angle a d e this this small part plus angle d a e should be equals to 30 by exterior angle theorem right angle d a e is this angle is 15 which is equals to 30 so angle a d e is 30 minus 15 which is 15 degrees so this small part is 15 degrees and if you see this is 45 this is 15 and sum of total angle should be 180 so this is 120 degrees so let's make the diagram clearer so this is what we got we proved this angle as 15 by using exterior triangle property if this is 15 and this is 45 this has to be 120 right so now let's again focus on this triangle this is 15 this is 15 so ae should be equals to ed so ae should be equals to ed right so let's highlight these two are equal and we already assumed ed and dc are equal so all this for a e e d b d d c all of them are equal right okay now let's join b and e if you join b and e you know that this is 15 this is 45 which means this total angle is 60 right so let's make the diagram clearer so what we have is this total angle is 60 and these two sides are already equal which means these two angles are equal so this should be 60 and this should be 60 right i hope you are able to follow up to this point and if you clearly observe this angle is 60 this is 30 total is 90 so this has to be 90 right this has to be 90 degree if this angle is 90 and and as you already know uh, we have proved this side and this side are equal now this is an equilateral triangle right this is 60 degrees these two sides are already equal and all the angles are 60 so this side is equals to this side is equals to remaining two sides let's highlight that let's highlight that using a different color so basically if you clearly see this side and this side are also equal so in this triangle a e b this is 90 degrees we have proved it just now so after proving that we can carefully observe we can carefully observe that uh, 
so this is 90 degrees and this side and this side are equal so this angle has to be 45 degrees right this side and this side are equal so this angle should be 45 we already know this is 15 degrees so angle b a d should be x which is 45 minus 15 so angle b a d should be 15 degrees sorry 45 minus 15 which is equals to 30 degrees so so angle b a d is 45 minus 15 x is equals 45 minus 15 which is equals to 30 degrees i hope you really understood i know that this diagram can be much much clearer and i hope you followed this video till the end please like share and subscribe thanks for watching